The threat of a shutdown once again is looming over the U.S. government. Before September 30, the American Congress needs to adopt another bill that will provide the funding for government agencies. At the same time, apart from a political issues, both Democrats and Republicans are trying to redistribute budget money in their favor. Although everyone understands that sooner or later the parties will reach an agreement, a certain risk still remains. This year, the chances of an agreement are still high because a third of the senators will be related in November this year. That's why the government shutdown is extremely undesirable for their reputation in the eyes of voters. By the way, over the past 20 years, the US government has been closed four times. Will 2024 be the fifth in the year this list? Markets do not have to wait for an answer for long. There is only one trading week left until the end of September. As for market sentiment on the Monday, today investors are still digesting the policy decision of the US Central Bank. Last week, the Fed Reserve slashed the funds rate by half a percentage point. So, analysts uh, recorded the um, busiest uh, session on Wall Street since January 2021. More than 20 billion shares were traded on the US exchanges on Friday. The S&P 500 jumped to nearly 5,700 points, where it was trading on an early Monday. Two more policy meetings are left before the end of the year. As usual, markets are trying to estimate the size of a future rate cuts. So far, the majority agrees on the overall rate cut of 0.5%. At least the nine Fed policymakers will speak this week. Thus, increased volatility is guaranteed for dollar-denominated assets. At the same time, the rate cut moderated fears about a recession in the U.S., thus reinforcing the US dollar as the world's main reserve currency. Before the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the six major currencies, opened on a Monday higher, trading within the intraday Canada of 100.70 to 101.10. At the same time, the US dollar index managed to break away from the annual low it reached last week. All in all, it's still too early to talk about a stable downtrend in the US dollar. During the European session today, the euro dollar was losing from a, um, side to side. After the publication of a lower than expected PMIs in the Eurozone, the chart of the main currency pair also went down. For example, the manufacturing PMI in Germany could drop to 40.3 points in September, and the Eurozone may record a decline in the indicator to 44.8 points. Currency markets would be poised to open a new trading week consolidating at the current levels without sharp price swings. In reality, the markets are getting on a seesaw. In the meantime, the US dollar is picking up steam as the markets have absorbed the Fed's rate cut, taking notice of a new economic data. On the other hand, the euro is wound down by increasing sell-offs. The euro dollar path sank below the critical support at 1.11 double O during the European session. Indeed, both leading currencies have greatly benefited from the yen's decline following the dovish statements uh, from the Bank of Japan at the end of the last week. As a result, the euro is still trading near its local high for the medium term trend today, despite disappointing economic reports. This uptrend has been ongoing for about a month, with a price ranging between 1.0900 and 1.1200. Thus, a bullish sentiment on the euro still prevails among market participants. Considering the prospect of a further selling of the US dollar, the bullish potential of the euro could lead to resistance levels at 1.1200 to 1.1280. For more significant price changes, the buyers need to settle the instrument above these levels. If this happens, the euro will grab a chance to update the medium-term high. 
At the same time, a weakening economy may couple the ECB to implement the third rate cut as early as October, and this means that the euro could once again face selling pressure. Importantly, the euro dollar pair could increase its amplitude later today in a both direction, like up and so uh, and down. In the Euro New York session, the US PMI similar to European ones will be published and our analysts project that PMI in the United States could also look a notable decline. In particular, the Composite Business Activity Index, which takes into account the services and industrial sectors, is likely to tumble from a 40, uh, uh, from a 54.6 to 53 points. Bitcoin notched the one month's high on a Monday after an oversized rate cut in the US. The flagship cryptocurrency jumped by 1.8 percent. However, then Bitcoin again had to, to retreat within an intraday Canada of a 62,870 to $64,662. Moreover, the odds are that Bitcoin will fall even lower on the back of a possible strengthening of the US dollar. Brand crude futures have rallied considerably over the past week and a half, almost by 10%. And today, Earl is still trying to maintain its bullish momentum, although the medium term trend remains downward. The buyers are facing resistance in the range of $76 to $77 per barrel. According to technical analysis, this uh, could indicate a slowdown in the bullish cycle. However, unlike other assets, the oil market continues to be largely influenced by political factors. Tensions in the Middle East are not fading away, though the military clashes have not escalated yet. As a result, oil prices are showing relative stability. Most importantly, there are no signs suggesting a decrease in prices. And on the contrary, there is uh, ample room for growth, which uh, at least uh, rules out the scenario of a decline in the brand price in the near future. What about Russian ruble? The Russian currency is also trading steadily. However, on Monday, the dollar-ruble pair is trading slightly above the levels it held for most of the past week. At this point, there is no reason to believe that the situation will change anytime soon. There are currently no fundamentals uh, for this movement. Most likely, the ruble will continue to consolidate around um, current levels. At the same time, some analysts anticipate a strengthening of the ruble in the near future. So, key factors that uh, could support the Russian currency uh, may include the uptrend in the oil market and the approaching deadlines for the tax payment period. During this period, exporters traditionally sell foreign currency for ruble liquidity. And that's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you tomorrow.